Oh, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Landaris. You already know. Bam, you see it. You see it. Pop that collar. Pop that collar. LNL Line Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Mm-hmm. Back at you. Guys, you know, you start off doing these yards. Man, it's the springtime. You know, grass is still brown everything else and you go to a customer's house and man they expect theirs to look like the neighbors across the street that's like totally green and stuff and they just started fertilizing their yard and stuff like that so i had to let a customer know today i'm like hey at this point in time i don't want you to get your expectations too high because the grass is still brown and still growing uh you just got your lawn fertilized. You're getting that lawn fertilized by True Green. Uh, and she's looking across the street saying, well, they, their grass is really green. I say, well, they probably been doing it a couple of years. Uh, well, they were here a year before me. Well, they probably started doing it a year before you. So that's why their grass is a little bit greener. I mean, if you're just now starting to do yours and, you know, you... You're going to run into stuff like this every once in a while. You know, the customer's expectations. So as as a professional lawn care provider, you have to let them know. You have to kind of educate them on all aspects of their yard, you know, when they start. Because what's going to tend to happen is, you know, even though I'm not fertilizing it, you know, if the fertilizer, uh, if they're not, properly watering their grass uh and you know uh it just takes time i'm not even gonna go into all the details and stuff and then she wanted me to actually stripe it you know and i said uh you know the machine is gonna do its job and your grass is half of it is still dormant you can see the lines in there she and she says, uh, well, you know, like the next door neighbors in the backyard, how it's like across and then up and down. I say, yeah, I see that, you know, and uh, she say, kind of like that. And I'm like, OK, well, I'll go back over it again and I'll go the uh, uh vertical and then horizontal uh i'll go back horizontal and stuff and 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 then you know it's not a big yard guys it's a small yard so it's a small yard so the expectations is like totally high and it's already it's not even the grass ain't even kicked in let me let me matter of fact i'm gonna let y'all take a look at it i'm still out here so let me let me let me let me show y'all what I'm actually talking about. You know, this is a, a new property that I picked up, uh, older couple, um, and I can see her expectations is is out the roof already. I like, I don't know how long this is gonna last or if it is gonna last, but we'll we'll see we'll see, uh, and to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll let you guys take a look at it. <sighs> no, I can't swing it around. Y'all yeah, see it. <laughs> so this grass over here is a little bit greener. Over here. That's the grass she was talking about. But they got clumps and stuff all in there, y'all. So this is new development over here. This is new development. This is the yard right here. <laughs> I do snow for her. I, I, I plow her, her her driveway, and that's how I picked her up this year. As far as uh, she called me to do her driveway, remove some snow, and she asked me, did I do lawn care? And I said, yeah. But this is cut right here on uh, three and a half, and she's getting it fertilized by True Green. And yeah, it's cut. This is the first cut of the season for her. 
So, and I can see, you can kind of see where the sod, they put sod down here. And this is a, a incline right here. But you can see the grass is still dormant, it's still growing. You got brown spots here and there. All this is uh, sod, it looks like new sod. So, this is all, this is sod. So, she wanted it diagonal like this. Now you can see this is a 22 push mower that they're doing and they're going diagonally and uh, probably uh, horizontal and then going diagonally. But, you know, sometimes customers have, now her yard's a little bit smaller than this yard over here. So, but you guys can take a look at it. This is the first cut. She got some mulch along the fence line back there. Uh, she's been here, what, two years, she said, so. But uh, look like she got pompous grass or something diagonal, I mean, across that way. Pompous grass is probably gonna grow in right there. But yeah, guys, this is it. First mow. Uh, but yeah, man, she's... Uh, High expectations. She she wants her grass really green, and I ain't got nothing to do with that. But she has true green, and this is a weekly, and she wants it with patterns in it. And I told her, I said, if you want me to spend more time on this yard, I'm gonna have to bump the price up. But uh yeah the yard is actually small so even trying to do diagonal and all this other pattern that she thinks she wants to have it ain't gonna work is the machine is gonna do its job and that's about it it's gonna cut so and i'm not trying to spend all day on here trying to make patterns and stuff when i'm not really getting paid try to make patterns and that's the thing when you start getting some of these customers when you start getting some of these customers they let's say you'll give them a price and they'll say oh that's a little bit too much that's a little bit too much so you say okay how about i take two dollars off of it so that yard right there i charge 47.50 47.50 for that yard. It's not a real big yard, but she wants me to spend extra time on it, trying to make these patterns and all this stuff. It ain't gonna happen unless you uh, want me to spend more time on it. I'm gonna have to bump it up because I, I actually bumped it down. Uh, is it 40? Yeah. I actually bumped it down because I think I had it at uh it might be at 4550 cuz I think I had it at 47. Yeah, it's at 4550 cuz I had it at 4750 and she was like, "Well, you know, uh so then after I said, "Okay, $45, I'll bump it down to 4550." She said, "Well, okay, that sounds pretty good." So I said, okay, uh, you know, and then the next time I, I, I saw her, she's like, um, you're going to do patterns and stuff in my yard, right? And I was like, well, I'm going to get it cut, you know, fairly nice and stuff like that. So now when I actually come, you know, she she came out a couple of times, you know, and that's that's expected, you know, your first mow, they want to see how you're doing and what you're doing, make sure you don't miss no spots. But still we'll see how far this uh this customer goes and how picky uh they're gonna be it's not a big yard not too much to complain about uh fairly easy yard easy yard uh, but at the same time you'll get customers they start wanting a little bit more than what they what they uh paying for and they're expectations is like off the roof i mean 
I'm sure she got rock beds, but you know, I'm sure it'll be something else and stuff, but it's all good. Uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments, share this video. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.